met my family in 1938 in Saigon, Vietnam. My mother on the left, my father on the right, my, my brother in the middle, my sister at the top and me on the right. Dernière émission de Papa et Maman au Bois d'Euro, mars 1940, France. Last meeting of my father and mom at the Bois de Rau in France, 1940. When I first went in the Regal, I used to give him cigarettes under his door. But all I can remember is that I was with another boy before then, and he hit me one time and we had an argument, and I told him to leave, and because um, he hit me, and then he left, and I was in the lounge room, and I was down and depressed. John came down, he just came in, he was at the hallway of the lounge room at the door. I said, I'm looking for someone who's better, who can be better, who doesn't drink and that. And John came up and sat down and said, you look, you got me. And he smiled at me and said, it's just, I love that, it's like paradise. Um, it's got a golden sun which never, never goes away, which shines forever in our hearts. I was born in Africa, Morocco, Casablanca, ninth, uh, McNeff, 1929. I come by both Africa, France, France, Vietnam. My father's plantation in, in uh, Cambodia and Laos. Vietnam, rubber plantation, coffee plantation, and rice. After five years, I go back to the people, and finished. We lost a whole lot. When I was uh, 1920, I went to Saigon, working on Bolish, on a wharf. Uh, I live in the Saigon Palace Hotel uh, with my mother there because they say we have no job no more in, uh, in, in Vietnam and tell us to go. They didn't want the white no more. They didn't want the people to stay there. No more French, no more English, no more American, Finish white, finished. But I have no home, I finished. My when I left Vietnam, 90, the end of 1952, I arrived in Australia for New Year, 53. From Saigon, by ship to Australia to Melbourne, SS Mekong. My mother was there. She was there when I left by ship. She had to, I had to go alone and to fight battle my own way. I like Australia very good. Very, very peaceful here. It's not like Vietnam. We do have tough days, but we know that everyone else does besides us. So when we have tough days, we, we talk to each other, we, he plays his music, we, we um, sing together with the harmonica and we um, talk and say, uh, like if we have an argument, we say, look, who's, uh, he said we're no, no better off than anyone else. We're all human beings and we both love each other. The love you choose to give to another is your most precious gift. That includes your sexuality. Your virginity is a gift. <laughs> You're seeing him again, aren't you? You're seeing him tonight. Yes. Brenda, I wasn't kidding when I said this was kismet. Think about it. What are the odds of two people finding each other again like we did? So if you're going to try and buck odds like that, just make sure this other guy is worth it. Me and John have been down near the Ark Tunnel for about three years now. I want to get off the street for our own safety and our own health wise. And for hygiene purpose. I love John and his personality, his sense of humour, his loving heart, his loving nature and the love he has for me as a boyfriend. Oh, why is his love is love? When you go to the park, you go to the river, 
Let me see all the all the birds coming up. That's love.